I don't recall anything remotely close to this ever. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a 24-7, 365 NFL network or 24-7, 365 sports talk radio shows. There wasn't any 24-7, 365 uh, on-air programs where there's uh, argument and analysis and more argument. In other words, when Norm Van Brocklin in 1961 <laughs> was brought on with no coaching experience at all to coach the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, what, WIP didn't exist? Nope. Okay. Uh, so I, this is new. And the new is firing a head coach in the middle of a season to, well, that's not nothing new, but to bring in as his replacement somebody who's never done it before, currently coaching at the high school level. He does know the organization because he had a stellar career playing center snapping the football to Peyton Manning for so many years, and he's one of the best people you will ever meet in any walk of life, certainly in, in a football life, in Jeff Saturday. I love a good unqualified man hire. Woo! Love it. I love it. I love it. Here's why I love it. I mean, obviously, I'm being sarcastic. I don't love it. This is embarrassing. We're talking about things bigger than a nice person getting an opportunity, an opportunity that he is completely unqualified for. FS1's Joy Taylor went off on the Indianapolis Colts is hiring a Jeff Saturday, a former player who has zero experience in coaching. This is what you and I both know. Ain't no way in hell a black guy getting a job like this that's sitting around doing what we do on one of these daily shows and gonna get an intern. As did Shannon Sharp. My mind immediately went to, well, what about the coaches that are in that organization already mm -hmm. that are left there? and Marcus Spears. And I don't want to hear about the plane. Coaching is an experience that you have to have experience for. Mm -hmm. And we undermine it constantly by these hires. You have no experience, none, zero, none. No experience in college or, or professionally. And what is the word that we always hear when it comes to black coaches being hired? Well, they just don't have enough experience. Yep. The number one thing yep. about black coaches don't get the job, he ain't got no experience. Mm -hmm. He never called plays. Is he a leader? Everything that they told us that they listed up, boom, 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 boom. He has none of that. He's the perfect guy for the job. This is a bad look for the Indianapolis coach, and this is a bad look for the NFL. And for Ursay to say, I'm glad he don't have no experience. <laughs> what the hell are we talking about? I don't know what's a better example of I can get a beer with this guy than mm. this. This is a good old boys club if I had never seen it. Right. Right. And the next time we're talking about this, don't come to me. Don't slide out of your little troll hole to tell me that this never happens. What is this? This Reggie Wayne is on the staff, my guy, oh, my on the staff. Oh, he's, he's How you going to look me in the face and tell me that this is anything other than what it is? How? This is what I want them to do mm. with the Rooney Report. Yep. The rules. Yep. Throw yep. that bull job in the trash. This move was in response to the Colts' firing of Frank Reich. However, just a blatant slap in the face to every minority uh, coach in the NFL that's put in there, do Chris, you know, became coordinators, yep. you know, did all the grunt work, everything they told you you need to do in order to get an opportunity. And for them to go out and hire Jeff Saturday. Uh, out of nowhere with no experience is totally uncalled. Many, rightfully so, are displeased with what they have seen and despise the move. At the very same time that America refused to give the Negro any land, through an act of Congress, our government was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest, which meant that it was willing to undergird its white peasants from Europe with an economic floor. But not only did they give the land, they built land-grant colleges with government money to teach them how to farm. Not only that, they provided county agents to further their expertise in farming. Not only that, they provided low interest rates in order that they could mechanize their farms. Not only that, 
Today, many of these people are receiving millions of dollars in federal subsidies not to farm, and they are the very people telling the black man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps. And this is what we are faced with.